Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we are proud to offer an award to Asia Commercial Bank for most innovative retail bank Vietnam 2016. ACB is one of the leading joint stock commercial banks in Vietnam with a national branch network system of nearly 9,000 employees and offers a comprehensive range of products and services. In 2014, ACB completed the first phase of its corporate identity transformation, introducing new branding. Today that development continues and we can talk now with Ms. Lee Tai Mai Dung, Deputy Head of Consumer Banking. Well, hello, and thank you for joining us from Ho Chi Minh in this uh, special live link up. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, we are very honored to uh, um, receive such a uh, greatest uh, winning awards from uh, Global Banking Finance. Thank you. Well, firstly, let's talk a little bit about some of the products you offer. You've had many new innovations in, in previous months. Tell us a bit more about what drives that development and how uh, that innovation is so important to you. Um, actually, the traditional definition of innovation is, uh, I think, is the getting new uh, or improved product to the market. But in the financial sector, I think the product is more about the process. So therefore, innovation in banking is more about the process improvement and organizational change rather than a new product uh, development in the traditional sense. Um, there are uh, many factors that drive the product development in, in ICB, but I can name here just a few which I think is uh, the most important ones. The first one is the customer requirements. Uh, as you know that the message ICB sent out to all our clients is the focus on you, which means that we are really uh, want to focus on the customer and we try to become an, um, a customer-centric organization. And this customer-focused approach can improve the revenue by attracting more and more new customers and also help us to uh, increase the shared wallets of our existing customer. Uh, that's the reason why the customer requirement is very important to ICB. And as you know that the customer are very demanding. So that's why in order to um, meet their expectations, we need to create more products and services. Uh, the second factor is the competitors. Um, the competitions in the retail banking industry, especially in Vietnam, uh, is increasing and, and it's very intensively. Um, we have to compete with um, not only local banks but also foreign banks with the hundreds years of experience. At the moment in Vietnam there are about more than like, 50 commercial banks in a very small country like this. You know how the severe competition is and um, that's why um, they, they have more experience than us. Uh, we as ICB, we are very young. We, we just celebrated our 23rd birthday party this month. We're very young. The third one, I think, is the regulatory environment change. Um, this can also drive the, the, the product development. Uh, for example, the monetary policy, the m and policy from the State Bank of Vietnam. And, and those such changes also impact to our product development. Uh, and the last one, I think uh, you, you're talking sort of about technologies, right? I, I think the technology is very crucial. Uh, the technology uh, will play a very important role in the product development. Uh, technology will change everything. It has to improve the customer experience and it's also a critical factor that influence the future of profitability of our banks. Um, I can name a few uh, examples. You can see that the Uber or Airbnb is completely changed the customer behavior nowadays. So ICB, we also proud that to be the first bank in Vietnam, we implemented the biometric um, uh, authentication method to uh, for all the customer across our 350 branches and sub branches nationwide. 
Well, in keeping with what you've just been talking about, perhaps you'd be kind enough to tell us more about some of the new products you've been able to introduce. Uh, one of them would be, for instance, My First House. Tell us about that. Uh, well, My First House, uh, this is the, the, the term of loans uh, for the housing loan for the customer. The idea we're creating, the product is that uh, we base on the real needs of the customer who are the young couple or young family. Uh, they could be the newlyweds or fresh graduates uh, with the stable income and they wish to have the first house for their own. Uh, because they are young and they do not have much income, so the bank will support them by lending the money to buy the house with the very special offers, uh, such as the flexible loan tenure up to 20 years, uh, the flexible interest payment, and the client will get a supportive financing up to 80% of the house value. And there will be no penalty for the loan repayment before uh, five years. Well, a lot of services available there. And I know that for priority customers, you've introduced the Visa Platinum Card. What kind of services do you offer for that? All right. Uh, this is a newly launched product, especially for the priority customer. We are going to launch a priority banking for ACB uh, in early next month and this is a product specially for uh, the uh, customer uh, of segments and when you become the priority customer uh, you will have automatically uh, issued the premium debit cards which is the Visa Platinum debit. Um, with this card there's no participant fee, no annual fee, with a lot of special privilege from ACB together uh, with Visa like the consular service, the 3D CQ, uh, the cardholder will also benefit from the package of uh, insurance with uh, no charge at all. Well, obviously an impressive range of services there, but nevertheless things are very competitive. What do you see as the, the current trends in worldwide banking and also in your own country, Vietnam, right now? Okay, um, I think that there's a uh, the, some of the changes are taking place in the retail banking sector. Uh, the first one, I think, is the technology change. As, as I said earlier, technology change is becoming very important. It's enabled to increase service and reduce the cost. Therefore, the innovation based on the technology change is imperative. Um, there will be more and more digitalizations in retail banking. And I believe that traditional banking channel will be replaced uh, by the digital channels in the early future. Uh, the second trend I could see is that the social and behavior change. This change is also arrived from the technology change. Um, more and more people are using social network nowadays. They're reading online newspaper rather than the old fashioned newspaper, right? And the media and advertising also change in order to reach uh, to the target customer. And the third one is the cyber insecurity. Uh, it's also a trend that creating the threat to retail banking sector. Um, the security breach and the cyber attack are the, the, the uh, generate the fears and uncertainty uh, to the customer. Therefore, uh, there are higher expectations on the information security and the privacy among our clients. So I think that the bank must consider to invest significantly in this area. Well, as you say, technology is a vital part of your operation in today's modern world of banking, but also you have to ensure that your customers and clients get the best possible service. How do you ensure that they do just that? Well, in ICB, we have the system to collect all the customer feedback, which is operating 24 by 7. In uh, 2014, the contact center served uh, 1 million customers, and uh, it's increased to 1.2 million in 2015 uh, via telephone, live chats, and emails. 99% uh, of the problem was solved at the first contact point. And the service of the customer contact centers are really welcome and highly appreciated by the customer. In addition, we also running continuously the program called the Mystery Shopping in order to track our staff performance to ensure that the customer will receive the best quality of the customer experience. 
Well, obviously, you continue to strive to give uh, your customers that best kind of service. But it is, as I mentioned a moment ago, very competitive in the world of banking. What's your policy to ensure that you can stay ahead of the game and still continue to provide an excellent service? Uh, well, um, in order to expand our market share, in addition to following our proven business model, ICD will also leverage on the digital technology in order to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness uh, by implementing and upgrading projects on digitalization, digital banking, contact center, and data governance. Uh, the bank will also adopt new technologies, FinTech, to deepen the relationship with customers. Uh, with the proven business model, uh, we are trying to reduce our costs and uh, improve the efficiency in the growing uh, lending in the retail banking. Uh, we try to focus to have the appropriate risk appetite uh, to enhance the risk management expertise. Uh, so we are confident that uh, the banks uh, will have the stable profitability and stay well ahead of our audience competitors. Well, I'm sure you will. Lots of work still to be done. Thank you so much indeed for joining us today from Ho Chi Minh City. And once again, congratulations on those awards. Thank you very much.